Hey guys, Cletus here, and thank you for joining me on Get Out. This time on Get Out, my son and I are going to hit three national parks in five days, and uh, we've taken off from home. It's about 9.30 in the morning, and we are sitting down here on a rainy day at Chick-fil-A in Evansville, Indiana, as we make our way to Mammoth Cave. So stay with us right here on Get Out. All right, we're here. We're going to see what Mammoth Cave is all about. So we did book the cave tour, but we can't start it until 2.45. So we're going to have about two hours and 45 minutes to walk around and find some other stuff to do. So we're going to try the Heritage Trail here. Just right out the door of the Mammoth Cave Green River Grill and a hotel entrance. So this is just a half mile trail, but a wonderful lady uh, from the gift shop said that you can get a great view um, in the history of the cemetery out here. So we wanted to give this a shot. Nice wood plank bridge get you started out. And of course there's another trail right down there as well. She recommended this one, so we're gonna take it. And the lilies are popping down here in Kentucky. And here it is, the Old Guides Cemetery with an African-American heritage. In 1839, African-American slaves Stephen Bishop buried here. Matt Bransford and Nicholas Bransford came to Mammoth Cave to work as cave guides. Cave visitors from around the world extolled their exploits as guide and, guides and cave explorers. The guide's descendants continued a tie to the cave working as farmers, teachers, and timbermen while supplementing their income as cave guides. And in 1939, the retirement of Matt Brett Bransford's great-grandson, Lewis, ended 101 years of unbroken family cave guide service, a profession long dominated by African Americans. Today, the heritage lives on as family relatives live in a local community. And Stephen Bishop Stone, rep represented here, is actually right there. So Mammoth Cave in Kentucky is actually the biggest cave system in the world. So a lot of people come here to check this place out and uh, us having a two hour wait until we can enter the cave decided to take to the trails. And the trails are very, very nice as well. And our wonderful lady at the gift shop also told us of a wonderful overlook along this trail. And what she was talking about is this right here. Beautiful. She's right. So now we're on more of a chat path. And it looks like we're going to go all the way down there. And so these are the switchbacks. So we have taken a few shortcuts here. Um, as you can see, you can come straight down, slip on some rocks, or you can take the given trail around, but, okay. So there's the spring. We're just gonna go see it. We got the rest of them right down here. Just minding their business. You can tell they are fairly used to human traffic out here. 
Somebody lost a boot down there. So we are on a self-guided cave tour down here. And I know you can't hardly see anything, but it is amazing. So we're gonna try to get you some footage. Lots of stuff to see in the largest cave system in the world. this self-guided tour you have two miles that you can go in here and explore but you can turn around anytime that you want or take as long as you want to make this expedition it's very very neat That is our tour of Mammoth Caves, the self-guided tour. So right now you can only do the self-guided portion, which will take you through about two miles of the cave, but definitely recommend coming down here and checking that out. All right, guys, that is the end of our Mammoth Cave tour. But now we're gonna be on the way to the Red River Gorge. So stay with us right here on Get Out.